welcome back to my channel nurse rachel and crafts today i have a different type of video so i've been seeing a lot of creators posting their wrap-ups of all the diamond paintings they've completed in the year so i figured i would give that a try as well um the main reason why i wanted to do it this way is because i have like seven paintings you guys that i have backlogged that I've completed, but I just haven't done post reviews on. Um, if you've seen any of my post reviews, you know how I like to get really in depth and detailed with them, but I just, I don't have the time. So I figured, let me just do it this way. So for the, for three of these, I will do like tiny, tiny post reviews and the others, I'll just kind of go over them. So I have 16 finishes here. 15 are from Diamond Art Club and one is from Craftably. Now, if I added in all my budget-friendly paintings, I would have about 36 finishes. But the thing with that is that I bought a lot of paintings from Amazon, AliExpress, and like budget-friendly sites earlier in the year. And that was before I knew about unlicensed artwork I didn't know so I bought a bunch and just to be on the safe side I just won't show them here because I'm not sure which ones are stolen which ones aren't I'm also going to do mine a little bit differently where I'm going to start from the one I finished most recently and then go backwards that way all right so first up here is love that by willowing arts this is from diamond art club it is a 46 by 66 centimeter or 18 by 26 inches. She has 57 colors with four ABs, you guys. Isn't she beautiful? So I started this one December 5th and I finished December 28th. And I love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I rated this painting five stars. I had absolutely no problems with it. These are Diamond Art Club's older round drills and I've never had an issue with DAC's round drills. So they were perfection. I love the colors. I absolutely love the image. It was a wonderful time. It had a great mix of some color blocking um, and confetti. So very nice. I do still have those diamonds left over. I haven't decayed her. So every color left over. I didn't run out of a single thing. And then the trash in this one was very minimal, extremely minimal. I'll put it in a little tray to show you. But yeah, my main issue with the trash were just little, little nibbly bits there. But yeah. The ABs in this one was this color here, this beautiful blue, 137. A blurple, bluey purple, 136. A pink, 124. And then white, 141. And they were very generous. With the AB use on this one, it is completely just all throughout this painting here. It's all in the flowers. The blues are in the flowers. The pinks are here. And these flowers, the white is all throughout her face. More blue AB over here. This entire wing is white AB. This wing as well and this star. So yeah, loved it. Love That by Willowing Arts, 5 out of 5. All right, next up is Christmas Delivery by Susan Winget. This is a 51 by 51 or 20 by 20 inches. And of course, it's by Diamond Art Club. This one has 47 colors with four ABs in it. Beautiful. 
This one I got from Hobby Lobby. It has all new diamonds in it. Every single drill in this kit is brand new. So the trash was extremely minimal. The diamonds are very uniform in size. I rated this one a 4.5 out of 5. And it's only because there is some gapping with the new drills. They're just a tad bit smaller than the older drills. This is something that is being worked out currently. But yeah, it is an issue with this painting here. So I uh, still have the diamonds of this one as well. And as you can see, I didn't run out of anything. I had everything left over, which was awesome. The ABs in this one were a light pink, 127. A orange color, 131. A green, 134. And a white, 141. And these are square drills and the trash very minimal again i'll pour it in a tray so you can see so here's the trash here extremely minimal only a few hat tabs and some were concave and some were like bubbled out on the end but that's it you guys for a square diamond painting awesome so yes christmas delivery by Susan Winget, five or four and a half, four and a half out of five. All right, next up is Warm Witch by Ivy Dolamore. This is another from Diamond Art Club. It is a 56 by 74 centimeter or 22 by 29 inches. It has 41 colors with two ABs in it. This one I started October 16 and I finished it December 4th. I took a break from her all throughout the month of November so I could work on um, the Little Helpers painting coming up next. But yeah, she is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Y'all see that sparkle? Y'all. Now this is Diamond Art Club's new round drills where they're cut more sharply so the shine and sparkle that you get y'all it's just it's unreal now with this one i rated it a four out of five and not for the image none of my ratings are due to the image i love every single image that i get my ratings are more based on my experience overall so with her the reason i rated her so low is because it seems on my kit and only mine that the diamonds the round drills were just a little bit smaller maybe because i can see like a a halo around each drill so in the white areas the symbol is surrounded by a black circle and it didn't really matter how carefully i placed the diamond i could still see like a black halo around it so that was just kind of irking me a little bit and then with the black areas, the, the symbols in the black area are surrounded by a white circle. So again, with the black, I could see like a white halo around it. Now, my friend, she also completed this one and she did not have that problem at all. So it just seems like it was just mine. But yeah, that's the only reason why I knocked some points off of it. Look at that shine, y'all. Y'all see that sparkle? Oh my gosh, absolutely beautiful. So I do still have the diamonds left with her as well. Um, let's see, trash, again, very, very, very minimal, very minimal trash. And I'll pour it out to show you. So this was the trash I got. Um, a lot of like straight pieces and nibbly bits right in there. But yeah, that's it for a painting of this size. I think it's really good. It is more than normal from a round DAC kit. But um, yeah, still not too bad. The ABs in this one is 104. It's like a peachy, yeah, like a peachy color. Very pretty. And a white, 141. ABs in this one. 
they were used they were used pretty well the white a b you know are by the windows her anklets so they used the white a b quite a bit but the tan a b it was only used here in this section so yeah warm witch by ivy dolamore beautiful and i did hear that um diamond art club will be coming out with a new rendering of this one they'll be adding more ab's so um, she is out of stock right now but perhaps when she comes back you'll get the new rendering of her beautiful little helpers this is from diamond art club and ann stokes it is a 99 by 70 centimeter it has 57 colors with four ABs. So, <laughs> this one was amazing to work on. And the full post review is up on the channel if you wanted to see it more in depth. But yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I rated this one a 4.75 out of 5, and again, it was just because of the gapping of the drills in, with the new drills. Other than that, it was amazing, awesome, and I loved it. So yeah, the full post review is up on my channel if you want to see this one more in depth. Alright, next up I have Mixing Magic. This is by Christine Karen and Diamond Art Club. It's a 56 by 74 centimeter or 22 by 29 inches. This one has 50 colors with two ABs. I started this beauty October 1st and finished on Halloween. And her full post review is up on the channel as well. Y'all, I loved it. I think I rated this one a... 4.75 as well out of 5 and it was just for gapping drills again with the new diamonds so this area over here this um burgundy 814 color these are new drills and while they are absolutely amazing to work with and you get all that shine again they just are just a little bit smaller than the older drills so um, more pronounced gapping but yeah, the image is amazing. The shine is phenomenal. I loved working on it. So yeah, the full post review of her is up on the channel if you want a more in-depth look at her. All right, next I did We Are the World by Patrice Marciano in Diamond Art Club. This is a 42 by 42 centimeter or 16.5 by 16.5 inches. It has 37 colors with no ABs and no special drills. I started this one September 19 and finished September 27. And yeah, I rated this one a 5 out of 5 because it is absolutely amazing and beautiful. And yeah, I loved it, y'all. 5 out of 5. No issues with this one. It was amazing. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Loved it love it love it love it so this post review is up on the channel as well next up is a painting from craftably bunny love and bethany by sheena pike this one is 18 by 24 inches it has 40 colors with one ab and one special drill the ab was a white one and the special drill is like this blue rhinestone crystal here i rated this one a four and a half out of five and it was mainly because some of the symbols were a little blurry and then two of the symbols well one symbol looked like two symbols at different times so sometimes it would be printed really thickly and then other times it would be really thin which gave the impression that they were two different symbols so it was like tripping me up a little bit but yeah other than that it was amazing the diamonds are great. You get wonderful sparkle. The rendering is fantastic. I love the glue. It was awesome. The full post review of this beauty is up on the channel as well. Then I did My Garden Needs Tending by Mandy Manzano. 
and Diamond Art Club. This is uh, a 56 by 74 centimeter or 22 by 29 inches. It has 31 colors with two ABs. The ABs are a orange and a white color and they were used, the orange color was used a lot. It's everywhere and then the white was just like a highlight color. I rated this one a five out of five because it was perfection. I love the image, the colors, the blending of the colors. These are Diamond Art Club's older round drills. So I had no issues with those diamonds. There was hardly any trash. It was wonderful. The full post review of this one is up on the channel. The next one I did was the old shoe house. I started this one June 20th and finished September 6th. This is by Dominic Davidson and Diamond Art Club. It is massive. <laughs> Um, it's a 105 by 70 centimeter or 41.3 by 27.6 inches square drills. Absolutely loved it. It has 57 colors with three ABs in it. And yeah, it was awesome. So <laughs> there's that side of it and it is heavy y'all. but it was so much fun to work on. I loved it. I rated this one a four and a half out of five, and it was because um, all of these are Diamond Art Club's older drills, so there was quite a bit of trash in them. I ran out of a few colors. Uh, that full post review is up on the channel as well, and you will be able to see how much trash it was. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> Uh, but luckily I had extra diamonds left in, um, you know, like my backup drill. So I didn't have to contact them for more diamonds. But yeah, I pretty much ran out of all the darker blue colors. I believe there were three. And then the black, I ran out of that as well. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Other than the trash drills, you guys, this was perfection. So again, post review is up on the channel. Then I did this one here called Divine Instinct by Raven Phelan and Diamond Art Club. As you can see, um, I got the borders painted. I use acrylic paint for the borders. This one I have hanging in my son's room. So yeah, I had did this one for him. This one is a 56 by 71 centimeter or 22 by 28 inches. It has 44 colors with three ABs. The ABs are like a turquoise blue, a yellow, and a white color. And y'all, isn't it amazing? So this was Diamond Art Club's older drills. Let's see, I started this one July 17th and finished August 8th. So this had the old drills in it. So I had no problem with the drills at all. It was amazing. I rated this one like a four and a half out of five only because I didn't realize how much confetti was in it. Like all of this y'all is confetti. I don't know why I didn't realize that, but that's no fault of Diamond Art Club or the artist. That was just me not really being aware of how much confetti was in it. So yeah. But nothing wrong with the image, nothing wrong with the diamonds. It was wonderful. And yeah, as you can see, this is just, this is stunning. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this is one that I didn't get a chance to do a post review on. I finished this one before I started making um, diamond painting content. So, yeah. It's beautiful. Love it, love it. All right, then I did Kitty Cuddles here. This is by Christine Karen. It's 56 by 76 centimeters or 22 by 30 inches. 
It has 53 colors with one AB, just the white AB here. And I absolutely love it. This was also Diamond Art Club's older round drills. And again, I've never had an issue with their old drills. So, very minimal trash. Wonderful shine. Beautiful rendering and image. I loved it. I rated this one a four and a half out of five because of the confetti again. And again, that's my issue. So her hair, y'all, confetti. Her skin, confetti. <laughs> and I didn't realize that. So yeah. Luckily, this one had like a nice balance of some color blocking and confetti. But yeah. If you don't mind confetti, there will be no problem with this one at all. It is literal perfection. Now, this post review is up on the channel. This was my very first post review that I did. So, you know, I give you all the details and information about it. But, you know, I don't go like super duper duper in depth with close shots or anything. Close up shots like I do with my other ones. But yeah, the post review is up on the channel. All right, then I did Bubble Fairies by Randall Spangler. Oh, I just love this one. I started this one June 4th and finished June 19th. It is a 69 by 56 centimeter or 27 by 22 inches. It has 52 colors with two ABs, a pink and a white. These are square drills and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Y'all see the sparkle on that? Now, these are uh, DAC's older square drills. And, I mean, you can, you can see the shine, but... Now, this one here, surprisingly, was my least favorite one that I've ever done. I rated this one a 3 out of 5, and it was because of the drills. The drills on this one, you guys, was actually ridiculous. Um, I was, I was pretty disgusted, actually. I ran out of four colors and the bad drills, y'all, were the purple, the 550, two of the blues, and one of the pinks. Absolutely riddled with tabs. And it was so bad to the point where I felt bad for Diamond Art Club, y'all. Because I was thinking they have paid that manufacturer so much money to produce these drills. And this is the type of quality they get back. That is so unfair. And it made me understand why Diamond Art Club decided to just start producing their own diamonds. DAC had to invest millions of dollars in order to get the machinery to do that and i'm so glad that they did because the type of drills that i got with this one atrocious and if i had not done other paintings from diamond art club before this one i would not have bought from dac again because i would have thought oh this is this is what i'm paying for no but luckily i had done more from them so i knew that this was just a serious fluke and you guys it was horrendous. It was horrendous. I wish I still had those drills so I could show you. But again, this was well before I started making um, diamond painting content. So it just wasn't in my mind to keep them. But yeah, it just made my experience with this one horrible. Because again, the, the most trash field drills were all the main colors. The purple, pink, and blue. That's that's what the painting is. It's, it's only that. <laughs> So, yeah, I really hated it. I hated doing it, but the image, y'all, I love it. Love it. It is so beautiful, and it's rendered perfectly. I love it. I love it now that it's finished. <laughs> so, yeah, thank goodness that DAC is now making their own drills.
All right, now I have Worlds Away. Worlds Away by Mandy Manzano. Look at this one. Isn't that a beauty? Oh, I just love Mandy, you guys. So this one is Round Diamonds. It's a 73 by 55 centimeter or 28.7 by 21.7 inches. It has 39 colors with two ABs. The ABs are a white and a blue, I believe. I started it May 21st and finished June 4th. I rated this one a five out of five. These are DAC's older round drills. So I had no problem. I had practically no trash. And again, I just love how Diamond Art Club and Mandy Manzano, they just work so well together. How they blend those colors in. I love it. And surprisingly, you would think or I thought that it would be way more black. But it really isn't, y'all. Like the black is like right here. By her in just little patches but it's mainly 939 that's back there and like a 823 I believe so it's mainly blue to me I feel like it had more brown than black in it but yeah beautiful love it love it love it love it five out of five would highly recommend this one it is amazing Then I did Crazy Cat Lady. So I started her April 14th and finished May 21st. This is a 88 by 70 centimeter or 27.6 by 34.6 inches. It has 55 colors with three ABs. I believe the ABs were a pink, an orange, and a green, if I'm remembering correctly. I gave this one a four out of five i believe the post review is up on my channel again it's one of my uh very first post reviews that i did so i'm not as uh detailed with like close-up shots as i am with my uh, newer post reviews but you still get all the information and i go over the painting so yeah if you wanted to see her a bit more in depth that post review is up but yeah, I rated her a 4 out of 5, I believe, because, again, confetti, y'all. It was mainly confetti that I didn't like. And these are Diamond Art Club's older drills, so the blacks were filled with trash. And as you can see, this painting does use a lot of black. I believe some of the browns were full of trash as well, and the oranges. So, yeah, that was why my rating was what it was because yeah a lot of trash so crazy cat lady love it then i did this one here cottage by the sea by chuck pinson it is a square diamond painting 74 by 55 centimeter or 29.1 by 21.6 inches it has 42 colors with two ab's the ABs, they looked like a yellow and an orange color. They were actually kind of similar to one another. I do have this post review up on the channel as well. If you wanted to just uh, see it a bit more in depth, hear a little bit more about it. But yeah, absolutely loved it. It was my first landscape I had did. And yeah, I fell in love with landscapes after this one. Now this one, I think I rated it a three out of five. And it was because of the amount of dark colors in here. I didn't realize it would be that many dark colors. Again, how could I not know? But it just didn't register to me. So I got bored after a while of just working with brown on top of brown on top of brown and yeah and then those brown drills were full of trash so these are diamond art club's older drills i started this one uh march 23rd and i finished april 14th so yeah older drills full of trash 
But yeah, other than that, the image is beautiful. I loved it. I love how it looks. And I feel like with DAC's new drills, it would just be perfection. So yeah. Cottage by the Sea. Love it. And finally, I have the very first Diamond Art Club that I've ever done. This is what made me completely fall in love with Diamond Art Club and their quality. I was hooked after working on this one. So this is Undersea Dreaming by Mandy Manzano. Another reason, too, why I am just obsessed with Mandy Manzano. Like, working on this one was literal heaven. She is 47 by 78 centimeters or 18.5 by 30.7 inches. That's the size you'll get on the website. If you go to Amazon, Diamond Art Club does have a store with them there. And this painting is offered, um, but smaller. She has 39 colors with two ABs. The ABs is like a white color and like a lilac. I started her March 9th and finished her March 23rd. I gave this one a five out of five. It was perfection. These are their older drills, older round drills. So hardly any trash, a ton of shine. And then how Mandy just blends her colors in Diamond Art Club. They know how to capture that. And I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, Undersea Dreaming, my very first DAC. And yeah, it's what made me hooked, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all my finished uh, DAC and craftably pieces for the year. I'm curious to see how many I could do next year. We'll see. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support you show me. And until next time, y'all, bye.